Now to the secret war with Iran, and today there is word the U.S. has been carrying out secret cyber attacks against Iran in an attempt to disable its disputed nuclear program. Officials confirming to Fox News that President Obama decided to unleash a highly sophisticated super virus on computer systems at the heart of Iran's nuclear facilities. We are told it was an escalation of cyber strikes that began under the Bush administration using the code name Olympic Games. Molly Henneberg is live for us in Washington. Molly, what do we know about this operation? Hi, Trace. It targeted Iran's main nuclear plant, the Natanz plant. The Stuxnet computer worm, once inside Natanz, caused wave after wave of destruction in the spinning centrifuges there, all while showing on the Iranian engineers' monitors that everything was operating normally. Now, introducing Stuxnet into the Natanz plant in the first place was a big hurdle for the Americans and Israelis who created it. One architect of the secret plan told the New York Times that getting Stuxnet into Natanz, quote, that was our holy grail. It turns out there is always an idiot around who doesn't think much about the thumb drive in their hand, suggesting that perhaps an unsuspecting worker there may have carried it in. But the effect of the plan appears to be temporary, maybe setting back Iran's nuclear timeline by a year or two, according to experts. Trace? So, so if this is all supposed to be secret, why do we know so much about it, Molly? That's what current and former intelligence officials are worried about, that we do know so much about it from intelligence leaks. They're also concerned about what happens next now that Iran knows that the U.S. was behind Stuxnet. Here's more. I'm really worried about retaliation. You can't forget that Iran is no slouch when it comes to cyber operations. And we have to be very careful that Iran doesn't try to do something, attack an American nuclear plant, for instance. The White House would not comment on details of this story, but did say that classified information is, quote, intended not to be publicized. Trace? Molly Hanneberg live for us in D.C. Molly, thank you. Well, all this comes amid a tense nuclear standoff between Iran and Western leaders. Terrorism expert Steve Emerson joins us now. He is executive director of the Investigative Project on Terrorism, which is a nonprofit research group focusing on radical Islamic and extremist groups. And the fascinating thing to me about this whole thing, Steve, is that is that this bug was actually able to go in and kind of disable many of Iran's centrifuges. Those are the things that spin uranium to make it pure. And at the same time, it was able to monitor the damage it was causing to those centrifuges. This was, uh, Trace, this was the most amazing and unprecedented uh, virus ever conceived of, uh, precisely for what you said. One is it, it, it infected the system and it, and it actually collected, it actually destroyed as it, the, the code made it actually more destructive as it spread throughout the system. Plus it gave the ability for the Israelis and the Americans to monitor the damage and also to actually remotely control how it spread throughout the system. It was a devastating uh, uh, virus, uh, and it still infected part of the Nataz plant, which is why Iran had to build redundant facilities to, uh, to build centrifuges that had been corrupted by the Stuxnet virus. I mean, you look at all this, and we have the Stuxnet virus, and then this week there was reported the flame virus kind of disabling some of their oil facilities in Iran. I mean, we're clearly getting better at cyber war. Could we go after their water and their electricity grid and their oil and maybe disable this country without firing a shot? Absolutely. I mean, th this is, um, you know, this is the new war. This is the, you know, the, the next century's war. You could disable their sewage system. You could disable their power grid. You could disable their water system. Uh, all of that would bring the country to, to, to its knees. So it's not just the, uh, the, and the electrical grid for that matter. Look, it's, it's, we have to also accept the fact that it could happen to us, which is why we're building all these defensive right. systems to, to stop penetration of our own grids, which have actually been vulnerable uh, for the last few years. But what we're doing right now with the Israelis and the Germans and a couple of other countries is creating these incredibly new uh, effective viruses that are basically unstoppable and that have a mind of their own. And, and they create such destructive power that they can cause a country to come to its knees without firing a shot. I mean, really, because the truth is we got good at this cyber war because we're trying to protect ourselves. And so the stuff that we our defensive techniques have really been used for offensive purposes. 
Well, yeah, exactly. The, the, the reason why we developed it was because there were attempts, and actually successful attempts in the last decade, to penetrate the Pentagon, the electrical grids, uh, hacking into our systems. And we realized we were, we were behind the eight ball. And uh, the Israelis, real, uh, who are very good at, at computer viruses or at computer systems, had actually developed a code together with Americans and Germans that was uh, unprecedented in terms of how it could right. operate. It went, had a mind of its own, basically. And, and the reality yeah. is that this is a, 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 a proven system that, if <clears throat> continued to be employed and infect the Iranian uh, facilities, right. can really uh, stop their program, not, per not permanently, but yeah. temporarily. And, and it's getting better. Steve Emerson, our terrorism expert. Steve, thanks very much. Sure.